Welcome to match day seven in SWPL1 and what a cracker it's the game in Scotland this weekend as the top two at the moment meet at Broadwood. It's Glasgow City, the 13 times in a row champions, up against Rangers who have invested in looking to take the title of their Glasgow rivals. It's a big match if Rangers were to win here, but the first time they've ever beaten City in a league game and we go level on points at the top of the table for City. The Incentive is there, five points clear at the Christmas break. Let's look at the side for Glasgow City, the home team. And they went strong with Aoife Colville, Cole Robertson and Claire Sign looking to cause a threat in that pronged attack. Joe Love captain the side today because Leon Ross is on the bench, but there's quality in there too. And legs and the likes of Megan Foley, Lauren Wade and Manny Fulton. Five former Glasgow City players in the Rangers squad, well known, high profile, including three trialists in McLaughlin, Howard and Kerr, who are very well known. Brianna Westrop is the captain today for Rangers. Now since a player Gemmel who is on the bench, the side who has started well with a much different team these days than before. Lorraine Watson is the referee for this game. Long ball over the top for here and Claire Shine motoring through. Claire Shine, Fife didn't come quickly and Shine tried to just try and skip it underneath Jenna Fife. Fife was a little bit indecisive because I think if she came out quickly she would have easily picked it up. Yeah, it looked like she was in a position ready to come in and attack the ball but quite hesitant but that's sometimes what these big games do for you especially trying to gauge the surface and how quickly the ball's going to come out. McLaughlin. Trying to pick out Bell. Megan Bell scores. And first blood in the derby goes to Rangers and the Northern Irish player Megan Bell scores in the 19th minute. The ball managed to get chipped out wide. That was a bit too simple a pass and of course it's just a 50-50 that has fallen again. Um, for Bell and she tucked it away nicely but the pressure wasn't um, strong enough across the whole team I don't think there. Up to ahead of Robertson, Tolan sends it back down. Comes back through for Wojcik, Colville, they're going to take on McLaughlin, just couldn't quite find the space though. Shine. Full some challenges. Lauder yeah. carries on, gets the advantage. There comes Robertson. And the challenge came in and that'll end that move. Strong challenges in there, but City managed to work the space. Really good work from Colville a couple of times in there as well. And Robertson just not quite got her body position to direct that towards goal, but it's a good reaction from going 1 0 down. Going clean away by Fife, and Robertson gives that to Shine on the turn. It's clear Shine, but. It's fairly comfortable for Fife. Yeah, very quick forward pass. Um, trying to capitalise on Fife's ball out. Colville. A chase one for Robertson, but she will get there. No, well, no one in the box, though, in orange. Wojcik. It's Shea Wojcik. It's a decent strike as well. Trying to go for something spectacular like midweek. But it was straight at Jenna Fife. Yeah. Good for Wojcik, I think, to get a strong shot on goal as well. It's good to see that she's got the confidence to do that. Bell's going to leave that pass that comes across for Doherty. Oh, it's left by Ness Howitt. Scores! And wouldn't you just know it, Kirsty Howitt? couple of weeks ago playing for Glasgow City and today scoring and Rangers are delighted with the scoreline but City have problems here after half an hour. Again there just seemed to be far too much time in the box for how to take the touch and hit it into the corner. It looked like it didn't come in with too much pace uh, but I think City maybe dropped a bit too early, gave the two Rangers players too much time and there's not much Alexander can do about that when it comes through so many bodies. Arnott. 
Came off against Colville. Lauder. Robertson looking to get it back in the 1 2. Looking to try and power past. Oh, it's skiffed off fingertips, maybe the crossbar as well. That could have went absolutely anywhere. First as well, she managed to get uh, fingertips onto it, but a good spell of pressure. But again, maybe says he just need a bit more support around the ball. Well, he doesn't find anyone in orange. It's got time for Doherty to send it. Well for Howitt. Huge ball through the middle here for Zoe Ness. And it's 3-0. Astonishing first half here. Glasgow City 0, Rangers 3. Alexander came out. And Zoe Ness just loved it over. Uh, the players are wondering is how we've managed to leave that side of the pitch so open for Ness to get uh, the time and space. Of course, it's a great ball from Howitt, but I think our defence was just a bit too open there, whether we squeezed too much to the right or didn't have uh, players tracking the runs. Comes through here for Arnett. Howitt picking up from Gerasoli, now he. He's ball in, it's a fourth goal for Rangers. Five and a half minutes into the second half. And Lizzie on it, goodness me, this is a huge scoreline now. Just need to be, perhaps try to block the cross a bit more, but it was good footwork from Hay. Just needs to be tighter in the middle, making sure we're following our runners, but it's looking increasingly difficult for us to get back in the, into the game as things stand. That's a miss by McLaughlin now, Colville. Two coming in orange. Pass shine, Robertson coming in, Fulton with the hit, it was a sweet hit but it was comfortable for five. Yeah, great ball in there, managing to pick out a player despite the fact that Rangers were quickly getting about six players back to defend that. Corner in, oh, Alexander and it's bundled over and goodness me it came off. Alexander and the defender, and then I think Gerasoli is bundling it over. Yeah, it looks like Alexander tried to punch that one, but it was a bit low for her to get any clearance on it, and it's just a series of rebounds falling to a Rangers player. I'd be very disappointed with that goal. Game over at Broadwood, and Rangers before today had only picked up one point against City back in 2013. They've picked up three points, the five goals. I think I've said in the past when City have been dueling for the league that the games are never won and lost in the first meeting of the season. It'll be the same here, but an emphatic win. Both sides level on top of the table as they go into the Christmas break. And there is transfer windows and still two thirds of the season to go. So it's going to be still a duel between, I'm sure, these two and perhaps Celtic as well in the title race. But a big scoreline today. It was a 3-0 half-time, difficult first half with Bell and Howitt and Ness scoring. And then early in the second half, pretty much killed the game with Lizzie Arnott scoring before Gerasoli scrambled the ball over with 15 minutes to go. Difficult afternoon for City, but the second leg of the Champions League to come. They'll focus on that before the winter break. Final score at Broadwood, Glasgow City 0, Rangers 5.